Hi there, it's Martin Rapley here. Now in some of my other videos, you've probably heard me talking about the importance of writing a schedule of works or a specification. And I've probably said the reason you write it is so that everyone knows what your intentions are with that particular refurbishment. In this video, I'm going to go into a little bit more depth about the everyone. Who are the people that may need to know more about your refurbishment? So the first person in everyone is actually you, yourself. Working through what you want in your particular property, you'll actually get your information down onto a piece of paper and you may find that you don't actually know the answer to everything. You may find that you're not clear what you need to put in the kitchen, say for instance. And so you might refer to say the HMO regulations to find out what you need to put in a kitchen. And then you might think, well, I'm not quite sure how that, those requirements fit into the space I've got. I'm gonna to talk to a kitchen supplier and see if they can do me a design. So as a result of writing a specification or a schedule of works, it's the same thing. As a result of putting that, that information on paper, you've closed up some gaps in your knowledge. And as a result, you've been able to get more detail down onto the piece of paper and into the specification. The second person that may well want to see the specification could be your business partner. Um, it could be a joint venture partner, it could be your relationship partner, someone that you're working on with the scheme. If you've written it down, then you've got a document that two individual people can read and they'll both confirm that it is what they expected the uh, property to actually look like once it's all finished. Now I say that from my own experience. I had a business partner on one project. He had previously worked in HMOs. I had previously worked on HMOs. So we both had experience of converting properties to HMOs. But when we came together, we both realized that we, uh, we put different fixtures and fittings in our HMOs. And it was only when I wrote it down, did my business partner say, oh, I hadn't thought about that before, but by the way, I tend to do this because of that. So as a result of writing it down, we were able to make sure that we were both thinking about the same things that were going into the property, and therefore there were no surprises at the end. We dealt with the queries and the questions long before the builder was on site. The third party that might well want to see your specification or schedule of works could be a, a lender. It could be that you've, you're borrowing funds through a, through a traditional commercial lender from a bank or, or someone of a finance organization like that. If you've got a schedule of works, then that show, shows credibility. It shows that you know what you're doing. Um, if you're borrowing funds, let's say you are more perhaps on a JV basis or you're borrowing private lenders funds, again, it adds credibility. It shows those lenders what you are intending to do to the property and hopefully justifies why you're applying for the amount of money that you're actually going to apply for. The fourth party that is part of this everyone is actually many parties because they are the, the, uh, the other parties that you're gonna be engaging with, which could be a number of different builders that are gonna price this project for you. And ultimately, if all of those builders have got the same specification in front of them, there is much higher chance that they're all going to be pricing for the same job. They're not going to be pricing for the works that they think they would do in this property if it was theirs. They're pricing for the jobs that you want carried out based on your research, your expertise, your knowledge, your due diligence and everything else that goes into the acquisition of a property. So in the phrase, we write a schedule of work so that everyone knows what we're talking about. Everyone, there's four different parties there that is part of everyone. Um, and that is why I think the schedule of works, the specification, and it is the same thing. Um, I think it is the, the key document that 
uh, t turns amateur investors into professional investors. And if you want to be a professional investor, I'd highly encourage you to start writing schedules of work. If this video has been of use to you, please do uh, like and share below, leave any comments and um, I'll help you with putting together your schedules of works. My name is Martin Rapley. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.